Residents in communities in over 20 towns and villages of the Yenswano district in the eastern region have hit the streets with a demonstration to protest and register their displeasure against the activities of sand winners and estate developers within their communities with a claim that they are destroying farms and properties and in some cases assaulting farmers and indigents of the land. They are calling on the authorities and the regional police command to help stop the activities of these people as the situation is affecting their standards of living and peace within the district. They, however, entreated the relevant authorities to act hastily to forestall any unpleasant situation as they are determined to fight at the peril of their lives to protect properties belonging to them. According to the protesters, over 20 affected towns and villages include All customers of the collapsed microfinance savings and loans companies will effective Wednesday, September 16, 2020, receive cash instead of the earlier promised government's back bonds. This follows the decision to convert all the government backed non interest bearing commercial paper into cash at no discount in respect of the payments to affected depositors of the collapsed companies. It will be recalled that the government had provided a combination of cash and bonds to pay depositors of the collapsed financial institutions, being 347 microfinance and 23 savings and loans companies. The receiver, Eric Nananipa, made a new arrangement of cash payments to all customers known in a press statement issued on Tuesday. The payments will be made by the Consolidated Bank of Ghana, CPG. The new arrangement affects only depositors of the 347 microfinance companies and 23 savings and loans whose claims have been validated in the resolution process. Mr. Eric Nananipa explained that the decision had become necessary due to concerns raised by affected depositors in relation to the bond. He added that the new arrangements would also provide additional liquidity to the financial sector. The receiver added that government has made available to the official liquidator additional 3.56 billion Ghana cities, equivalent to the total value of the bond component of funding required to fully satisfy the indebtedness of the resolved entities to their body depositors. Consequently, depositors who have received or are due commercial paper in partial satisfaction of their claims will now receive cash payments at no discount for the commercial paper they have either received or is due to them, the statement explained. In line with the government's commitment to protect depositors' funds and to show up public confidence in the financial system, the Bank of Ghana shut down 347 microfinance companies, 23 savings and loans, and 39 microcredit companies companies by revoking their license. The Bank of Ghana then appointed Mr. Eric Nananipa as receiver for the specified institutions in line with section 123 subsection 2 of Act 930. The depositors of the defunct companies were notified by the government's decision to convert deposits into government-backed non-interest bearing commercial paper. The government made available to the receiver of the above resolved companies as well as the official liquidator of the microcredit companies in official liquidation a combination of cash and commercial paper totaling approximately 6.49 billion Ghana cities to fully settle the valid depositor claims on these institutions. As the receiver brings the processing and payments of valid depositor claims to closure, a total amount of approximately 6.07 billion Ghana cities has been paid to some depositors of these resolved companies, leaving an amount of approximately 402 million Ghana cities to be paid to the remaining depositors to fully settle all valid depositor claims in the resolution process. Of the total amount of approximately 6.49 billion Ghana cities required to fully settle all valid depositor claims in the resolution process, about 3.56 billion Ghana cities of these claims in value represent an approximately 55% of total claims payable are being settled with governments of Ghana backed non interest bearing commercial paper, with the remaining approximately 45% in value of claims payable with approximately 2. 2.93 billion Ghana cities being settled with cash. It is the bond that has now been converted into cash.
The Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, has reaffirmed its position that a civilian leadership should be in charge of the transition in Mali. This was contained in a communique released after a meeting of heads of state and government and the National Committee for the Salvation of the People of Mali, CNSP, the current ruling junta at Pediase in the eastern region. The meeting was to allow the leadership of the CNSP to brief and present to the heads of state the architecture and roadmap for the political transition arrangement in conformity to a recent decision taken by ECOWAS on August 28th and September 7th this year. These decisions call for a 12-month-led civilian government to be put in place by 15th September 2020. The communique stated that after thorough deliberations, it was decided that both the president and the prime minister for the transition government should be civilian and appointed immediately with an 18-month mandate effective 15th September 2020. The civilian-led transition government, according to the communique, will restore Mali to constitutional order in line with relevant ECOWAS protocols. On sanctions currently imposed on the West African landlocked country, the communique affirmed it will be lifted once the transitional president and prime minister have been designated. It also disclosed that the CNSP should be dissolved immediately after the transition is put in place. The heads of state also commended the leadership of the CNSP for allowing former President Ibrahim Keita Bubakar to seek medical attention outside the country and called for the early release of former Prime Minister Bubu Sise. He thanked the former Nigerian President Goodluck Jonathan for his efforts and called on the Malian people to work together towards the return to constitutional rule. Speaking to journalists after the consultative meeting convened by him to resolve the political crisis in the Sahelian country, Ghana's president, Nanado Danko Akufuado, expressed his desire to see the return to constitutional democracy in Mali. He said once the required leadership was put in place through the processes that the military rulers had agreed on in Mali, the sanctions that had been placed on that country would be lifted. President Akufuado said though an agreement had not been reached, the military leadership agreed with the decisions taken at the meeting. However, the military leadership said they would have to go back to consult with those who were responsible for the decisions to get them to buy into it. For a quick resolution, we have to have a government in place that can begin the process of normalizing things and more than anything else, organizing the resistance to the terrorist menace in Mali. So we had the opportunity, and that is the reason why I decided that it would be a good thing for us to meet face to face with the leaders, the military leaders in, in Mali, so we could, we could talk eyeball to eyeball. It has happened, I believe, in a successful manner. We have been able to reaffirm the positions of ECOWAS, we need a civilian leadership of the transition and we've also made it clear that the minute that leadership is put in place through the processes that they themselves have agreed on in Mali, the sanctions that have been placed against, them, against Mali will be lifted by, by, by ECOWAS. How so that's why. That, 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 that basically is now in the hands of the Malians. Made it clear. President Akufuado, who was undertaking his first major assignment after being made the regional bloc's chairman, said the mediator in the crisis, good luck Jonathan, will return to Bamako in a week's time to continue with talks with the military junta. In a week's time, the mediator will be back in, will go to Bamako to see the state of play. I'm hoping that by the time he gets there, these things will have been completed so that the sanctions can be limited. But we're talking hopefully in days, not in weeks. I believe so. I believe so. He was there. He listened. He participated in the discussions. But he insisted that he, he would have to go back and do the consultations with, with the, those who are responsible for the decisions that they took and get their buy-in. And he was not prepared. And I, I think all of us understood that uh, it would take some, he, he would need to do that. But he's on his way back to, to Bamako as we speak. So, and as I say, 
uh, our viewpoint is that the matters that have been put out should be dealt with in, in, in terms of days and not weeks so that uh, we begin the process of normalizing the situation in Mali. ECOWAS had imposed sanctions on Mali and asked neighboring states to close their land and air borders with the country after the military deposed the 75-year-old Malian president, Ibrahim Keita, on August 15th this year. The bloc also suspended all financial flows between the 14 other member states and Mali, suspended the country from international decision-making bodies, and gave the military junta a deadline of 15th September to appoint a new civilian president and prime minister. Tuesday's meeting was attended by seven presidents, a vice president, Mali's political junta, and other stakeholders. Guinea's Alpha Conde, Togo's Forig Natsingbe, Nigerian leader Mahamadou Isufu, who is the immediate past ECOWAS chair, Senegalese president Macky Sall, Burkina Bay head of state Roshmak Christian. The First Lady of the Republic, Her Excellency Mrs. Rebecca Naokai Kwakufuado, on Wednesday visited Dayawasu West Wagon constituency as part of her working visit. Mrs. Rebecca Kufuado, during her tour, donated some medical supplies, including hand sanitizers, washing powder, surgical beds, among others, to the Legon Hospital. Mrs. Sakufuado's next point of call was at the Baolishi Palace, where she met with chiefs and elders as well as the constituents, where she urged the people of Baolishi to continue to support President Nanado Dankwa Kufuado by voting for him in the December 2020 presidential elections to enable him to continue with his good work. <laughs> Nini my baya, ya baya bebre ankasa, senia, black as in a canoe, a jumano, a cosu bebre, na bebre su dianim. In the more beyond that dian, December seventh, the bar more beyond that dian. Then cotu have a pa, na Ghana, embassy samayan, Ghana, embedania brochi mayan, senia air cono mutumi who say, Adi papa, nam quinsu. In December seventh, no, Miss Ramu, Obia, Cotuaba, Muntunu Mokra, Malidia. Na Motunu Mok, Suama, President, and Ado Dampa Kufuadu. In T, and Nadia, my best Ramu, Messiah, by you. On her part, the Member of Parliament for Ayawasu West Wagon, Honorable Lydia Sairam Al Hassan, expressed her gratitude to the First Lady on the donation being made to the Legon Hospital. I want to thank you for responding to the call to be present at this debate. I'd also like to welcome the First Lady of the Land. To Ayawaso West Wagon constituents. Indeed, Your Excellency, my constituents and I deem it an honor to host you in the constituency as part of your working visits to different parts of the greater Accra region. Let me also use this opportunity to express my profound gratitude for the marvelous work you are doing through the Rebecca Foundation to support the developmental agenda of the government. Your contribution to the development of critical health infrastructure for the improvement of child and maternal health care delivery is worth commendation. Today, the people of Ayawaso West Wagon have become proud beneficiaries of your impactful works. The donation you made to the Legon Hospital, one of the biggest hospitals in the constituency, would go a long way to save lives for this constituent, and I am eternally grateful. She further highlighted the achievements she's made so far as the Member of Parliament in her constituency. Member of Parliament, I said some key target developments. These include enhancements of security.
to combat crime in the constituency, provision of scholarship to brilliant by needy tertiary students, improvement of sanitation conditions in the constituency, women empowerment program through provision of financial support to small enterprises and petty traders, and creation of employment opportunity for the youth. The economic, the economic, the economic, the first lady, the economic community, the economic, the first lady of the republic. The Bono Regional Chairman of the New Patriotic Party, Kwame Bafua Bronye, has accused the former president, John Dramani Mahama, of corruption and described him as somebody who lacks the credibility to be entrusted with the future of the state. Kwame Bafua Bronye, in his conversation on the two TV's morning show, The Dialogue, claimed the former president sold state vehicles at relatively cheaper prices to his political appointees at the eve of his exit from the office as part of the ex gratia as political appointees. Kwame Balfour Bronye further mentioned some names of the former president's appointees who benefited from the corrupt seal of the said state vehicle. Kia ambulance crowd was given 500 Ghana cities. Ah! Where do you have to go to Ghana? 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 I had the Congress, I come on. Oh, look what Banu is doing. No, I told my two bosses, "Kinama, I need to fund so just fifty Ghana." And in here, Jimmy, but what price is a factory TV? That is Yamaha motorcycle. Price is in here. Fifty Ghana, this seventy Ghana. Motor sacre, motor bicycle. I need my minister of health for here, Jimmy. Okay, we paid number twenty-seven. Crowd to us, we had the bar. I am a kuma kud sister something. Yeah. 50 Ghana, 50 Ghana, 50 Ghana, 50 Ghana, 50 Ghana, 50 Ghana. Motor bicycle. Who also be too crown was it? Now, one who swab an out town, Minister of Health car, who my chief of staff for town, motor bicycle, 50 Ghana. Emma and this if was only job, Mokwa. Noted that the above vehicle was sold to Mr. Rogake as soon as part of his end of service benefit as a political appointee. And men are making sure a bank card and a faculty and this is former national chairman. And no do a big car. No do a bank card. No quite take car. When you are there, brother, try to let. At the other time, I didn't know do a sister. No, no try to let the office of the president since December. Or sign letter where I am at 5:30 a.m. Authority for disposal of unserviceable vehicles and motor bicycle. Minister of Health. Eh? Minya. Lang Kurisa. Lang Kurisa, Lang Kurisa Mono, ah, and yeah, we Toyota pickup in design, and you know, your value 700 Ghana. What's my boy? Nizan pickup, 700 Ghana. Give us my boy. Anyway, you have the map party boys, you are free. 